So are you travelling to the UK and scared about using the London Underground? I am here today to teach you the tips, tricks and all the information you need so you are ready first time round. So first things first, what is the London Underground? The London Underground, also known as the Tube, is London's rapid transportation system that spans throughout the whole city and even covers counties on the outskirts. There are 11 tube lines that have different unique names and are colour coded, making it easier to follow a colour rather than remember the name. London's public transport network is divided into nine travel zones. Zone 1 is in central London and zones 6 to 9 are on the outskirts of the city. If you are travelling to London, there's no doubt you're going to be using the underground to move around the city. Downloading apps such as City Mapper will be able to guide you to your closest station, the details of which line you need to catch and how long the journey will be. For more information on the best apps for London, please see my previous video in the suggestion above. Peak travel in London is between 6.30am and 9.30am and between 4.30pm to 7pm, Monday to Friday. Travel is more expensive during these hours than it is during off-peak travel times. I would recommend avoiding these times as the underground can be very busy and overwhelming for first time users. The tube can get very hot, even in the winter, so bring water with you and make sure you can easily remove layers of clothing. Once you have found your station, you will next have to pay for the underground. The three most easiest and common ways to pay for the underground is via an Oyster card, a travel card, or a contactless card. Don't worry if you do not know the differences as I will be doing a video next on how to pay for the London Underground. Simply touch in at the start of your journey. Green means the gate is open and red means that the gate is closed. Do not forget to touch out at the other end of your journey otherwise you could be billed the maximum cap. A cap limits how much you pay for all of your journeys in one day or week. A daily cap is calculated over a 24 hour period. A weekly cap limits how much you pay for all of your journeys in a fixed Monday to Sunday period. If you are using a contactless device to pay for your journey, make sure you have enough battery. Also, watch out for card clash, keeping your contactless and Oyster cards away from your device when touching in and out so you pay for your travel with the right card. Make sure you keep your contactless card or Oyster card separate and not in the same purse, wallet or phone case. Finding the right line can feel complicated but simply follow the colour code for your line. When you are on the escalators or the stairs, always stand to the right, as those in a hurry will walk quickly or even run down the left side. This is the general etiquette for the London Underground and helping with the flow of busy people. Londoners can be quite rude when in a hurry, so prioritise your safety and stand on the right. Once you are at the end and found your line, you will have to pick left or right. Generally list as southbound or northbound, or westbound or eastbound. Simply stand aside and find your station on those maps. Once you are waiting for your train, you can find the timings on a digital board. The underground train comes very frequently, so if you find a tube to be overcrowded, or you're just taking your time and not rushing, do not worry, as another line will be there in no time. Once on the platform, do move down to the end, as platforms can get very busy, and you will find you may be quicker getting on also. At all times, stand behind the yellow line painted on the floor. This is for safety, as trains do come very quick and platforms can get very busy. If you miss the first tube, you can stand where the doors of the tube opened, ready to board the next train and get a seat quickly. But do not forget to always allow space for those getting off the tube. The doors will open and close automatically and beep before they close. Do not be surprised to be queuing to get a tube, especially in peak times and rush hour. Once on the tube, you will find that people are in a rush to get a seat, so if you need a seat, you have to be quick. Do look out for the high priority seats, generally next to the doors, as these are reserved for people with a disability, pregnancy or of a similar kind. If you are standing, make sure to use the handles and hold on, as the tube is very quick and can also break very quick, so be safe. You will see the maps on the tube, which will highlight all of the stops and interconnecting lines at each stop. And lastly, if you feel uncomfortable, lost or need any assistance at any point, look out for the Transport for London workers or simply just ask a fellow Londoner. People can look very busy and in a rush in London, but always happy to help and give you advice. If you need to check your payment or journey history, pay unfed fees or apply for any refunds, you can do this online and I'll put the link in the description below. So now you should be ready to take on the London Underground. Let me know of your experiences with the underground in the comments below. 
And lastly, please do like, subscribe and comment down below if you found this video to be helpful. See you in the next one.